From here, the important thing would be to get the areas or volumes report for this cross-sections file. In this case, we are going to generate the volumes report for this example. It is very short, given that there are only three profiles, but it informs us about the underbreak and overbreak, both areas and volumes. We could also print and export it with several options. In Excel format, it would be the one that I particularly like to include in our measurement sheet. And finally, we are going to make a comparison between two profiles. We execute the command, Compare Cross Sections. In this case, we are going to select an excavation file and the final lining file in this section. These files have slightly more extensive information. The program informs us about the interval to be analyzed for these files, from station 100 to 200. We generate the comparison. We click OK, and it shows a list of overbreak and underbreak areas and volumes, which we can directly print or export to some formats. Now, we are going to draw all the cross sections. In this case, in model space, individual mode and A3 format indicates 13 pages for 51 profiles with the information to be included in each presentation. Here we have the theoretical information, the template, and the measured results of each profile for both the excavation and the lining and the differences between both measured cross sections. Finally, I'm going to edit the project, selecting the profiles from the 100 meters excavation to draw them in 3D. To do this, 3D model, draw, in the command bar indicates from station 100 to station 200, 100 points per cross sections. Draw the measured profiles in 3D. With the orbit option, you can easily see the profiles. Likewise, we can export this representation in OBJ format to view it in any external viewer. For example, Cloud Compare.